Tidal definitions, part of our tides masterclass. Okay, here we have a scene where we have the seabed with some rocks, lighthouse on a hill, and the sea level. The sea level in this picture is drawn to chart datum, which is the level your charts are drawn to. So it's the lowest astronomical tide in this case. Um, so if everything in nature went completely right, this is the lowest the tide could ever go. Sticking out above chart datum, that peak of rock, uh, is a drying height. So this is a level that covers and uncovers with the tide, depending on how much water there is, because we have to add the height of tide on top of chart datum. So as the tide comes in, then we get our height of tide. And if we add the height of tide to chart datum, we get depth of water. So the total depth in an area then is chart datum, which we're given on the chart, plus our height of tide prediction on the day. We get different ranges of tide um, according to the cycle of the moon. So that's a spring tide, which is a large tide where we get higher highs and lower lows, and a neap tide where we get lower highs and higher lows. Okay, so the neap range is the difference between mean high water neaps and mean low water neaps. Mean high water neaps is the average height of high water on a neap tide, and mean low water neaps is the average height of low water on a neap tide. The spring range is larger, and again, it's the difference between my mean high water springs on a spring tide and mean low water springs on a spring tide it gives you the spring range, a larger movement of water where you get higher highs and lower lows. Then we come to our lighthouse. The height of lights is measured above something called mean high water springs, which, as we said earlier, is the average height of high water on a spring tide. That's the level of the light above mean high water springs. Bridges are measured above something called highest astronomical tide. Opposite to chart datum, chart datum is the lowest astronomical tide, so that if all of nature aligned, it's the lowest the tide could ever get to. HAT, highest astronomical tide, if all of nature aligned, is the highest the tide could ever get to. That completes the tidal definitions diagram. As mariners, we need to understand what we're talking about when it comes to levels of water, whether we're trying to get under a bridge and we need to know the measurement from HAT, whether we need to know the difference between HAT and the height of tide to see what extra clearance we may have, whether we're talking about chart datum or total depth of water, or whether we're dealing with springs or neaps. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. My name's Noel Hutchinson. I'm the school principal at Get Lost Power Boat Training. You can get in touch with us for any of your boat training needs, anything from power to sail, um, learning on your own boat, confidence builders, marina skills, IPS specialists, channel crossings, and we hope to hear from you soon. If you did enjoy it, please also feel free to like and share this video. On Facebook, you can find us at Facebook, getlostpowerboattraining.com. Instagram, we're on getlostsailing.com, and on YouTube, you could subscribe to our channel at getlostsailing.com.